Welcome to Ask Me About K-Pop, the essential guide for recent converts and season fans alike. My name is Shannon. And I'm Angelica. And it's our birthday! It's the podcast It's our birthday, birthday today! It's also the Boo Sung Kwan's three. birthday! Our sweet baby Boo. Happy birthday to him, our birthday twin, and happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us! Our dear little podcast. Yes! We're three years old! It's so exciting. <laughs> I can't believe it. The ready to toddle called. about in this new shiny world yes because yeah to- we're toddlers we're three we're three nagers is what i my parent friends say about their three-year-olds because they're very sassy <laughs> like teenagers so then we've got to get sassy this year That's, i think so we're gonna channel our kim ki bum mm-hmm. and bring the sass, <laughs> bring the sass. <laughs> like y'all have never seen before <laughs> Shiny, shiny's back, shiny's back, shiny's back, baby. Shiny's back! Did you see they're beautiful? Oh my god. They're V-Live! They, V-Live's the past two nights. A couple nights ago, chaotic jinky live. Mostly of snow oh and god. dogs. But then he Accidentally showed Accidentally ended it times. five times. <laughs> <laughs> He's not good at V-Live. Yesterday, there was a point where he started reaching for the phone and I was like, don't touch it. You're gonna break it again. The, like, increasingly ridiculous V-Live titles is what really got me. <laughs> he, like, tried to stay consistent and finally was just like, let's just do this. <laughs> just finish this, I think is what that one said. But, oh, God. Yeah, last night they went live from the practice room. He wasn't there, but they just cuddled and spoiled and spoiled and spoiled spoiled everything and timmy and true to hit he's like evil maknae back on top he's straight up mino was like is it okay if we give it like you like to give spoilers right is it okay if we spoil you know timmy goes yes yes i love manager's face when i spoil something oh my god i think that timmy has been like watching the tiktoks of himself and is aware of what a meme he is now because he kept yes. just being like adorable yes every he time go, yes, he didn't know what to say he knows that we love when adorable. he says those things <laughs> yes. yes he just like he was trying to explain the concept and like in english and then lost his train of thought and just looked straight at the camera and went adorable <laughs> and he is adorable he is adorable and jinky is blonde blonde a lovely oh, shade he looks of blonde so beautiful he looks stunning he hasn't been blonde since everybody era and that and was that a wasn't quite a yellow. beautiful blonde. it was pretty yellow it was pretty yellow this one is like very nice and like a more honey natural shade of mm-hmm. blonde Oh my god. And we know what do we know so far? We know the choreo is harder Hard. than criminal, which they hold Timmy hands thinks is point. his hardest. Yes. And yeah, harder than hands and look at each other. Uh it's a concept they've never done before. And a song sound we've never heard before. So I don't know what that could possibly mean. Yeah, because they do everything. They yeah. do like so many different things. Every album is something they've never done before. That's literally true of every single shiny concept. I know. And it's but always so ahead and they're always so ahead of their time. Because like things yeah. that they were putting out that they put out on like the odd album are like sounds that other people are doing. Or right like now. the entire retro vibe of one of one. Yes. Like hello, that was this entire summer. So stay tuned. Whatever Shiny does is what will be popular in two years, just saying. Yeah. But this is a prime <laughs> example of what we mean oh, God. by how active <laughs> showels make everything about Shiny. <laughs> Because oh this is God. not about shiny. This we are not, not here to talk about we're shiny. We're here to talk about us. us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because our listeners have done something really crazy this year to celebrate the podcast. And so we have to, we want to honor all the work that has happened and it's still happening. Yes. We're still not, we still haven't got it all yet. Um, but it's coming in. But it's coming in. But to explain before we even. Uh, get into this fan project that I still am like in awe over is we've never talked about this on the podcast it's kind of stayed in the discord but like at some point over the summer a bunch of the listeners were like why don't we have a fandom name like a k-pop group like wouldn't that be fun and a listener named Alice is the one who suggested the fandom name 
of a likes because I say recent converts and seasoned fans alike in the intro and where it's like AMA K-pop and like it's cute. A likes. It's very cute <laughs> and we usually stylize it as A hyphen L I K E. So like the fandom is called alike and we would call into like our alikes, right? Yes. We will like pluralize it every once in a while. And they even had a really lovely chat about what our light stick would be. Yes. Um, and there was a discussion of it being um, a champagne glass. Right. Uh, that would obviously light up different colors. But our official fan, I know we have an I official wrote it fan down. color. Okay, I wrote it down. Is, it was is. it Michael that came up with the final title? I think I I think maybe I think Michael's the one who rounded it out, but it was like being yeah, yeah, tossed yeah. around. It was for a, a collaborative while. effort. Yes, and I think the mm. official one is Cosmic Pearl Champagne Blush. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my God! Wait. Speaking of cosmic colors, because this only makes me think of Cosmic Latte, and that's one hundred percent where that title right. came from. We we made a lot of fun. This is just a fun fact. It's a segue and a tangent, <laughs> and I apologize, that's fine. but. I, I saw it the other day and I was like, oh my God, it's a real thing. We made a lot of shit uh, or made a lot of fun for, of EXO for having the fan color of Cosmic Latte, which right. is white. Right. Um, <clears throat> but I recently learned that the av- like uh, astronomers have collected what is the average color of the universe and it is basically beige and it is called Cosmic Latte. Whoa, so it's a real color. It's a real color. And it's the average color of the universe, which God is damn it, Lisu man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe results. he thought that one through a little more than we gave him credit one more for. Layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that That's or good. it's a miraculous coincidence. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, so all of our sweet alikes decided that they wanted to celebrate three years of the podcast. And so they've been talking in a secret Discord channel that we're not allowed in um, about a project. And... Would you like to regale what this project yes. has entailed? Absolutely. Um, I feel like our, our this project was spearheaded by mm-hmm. our number one fan, Miss Slowpoke Megan. Um, and she has described the fan project as the Your Our Inspiration fan project. Which is a whole other thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> It says, there were three elements to this project, sending emails of gratitude, tweets filled with love, and postcards from all around the world to show our favorite people how global their fan base really is. A few of us even sent packages. Um, And so that is the part that we're going to dive into today. Because we have a lot of beautiful emails, but it's only like, I mean, in California, it's only 10 (laughs) a.m. on Saturday. And uh, I have to go back to the post office to see um if we have more postcards i have collected a few already but what i do have in front of me is quite a pile of packages of presents presents now i think i think they wanted us to open mara's first i believe i was trying to find the message that like specified what we were supposed to do and i couldn't find it but i feel like mara's was either supposed to be I think it was supposed to be first, and they wanted it recorded, which is why I'm recording our FaceTime right now, so that they can see whatever this is. <laughs> I just messaged Megan. I bet you that she'll answer me in okay. the time that it takes for us to do it. But yes, I think that that's the order we're supposed to go. So we have three packages. One looks like this. Cute. It's kind of heavy. And it's from Harley in Flint, Michigan. Oh, how's the water, Harley? Um, and then we have another one all the way from the United Arab Emirates from Miss Mara, our AMAK meme manager. This one is a box. It rattles a little. Yeah, and it came from far away. Far away. And then there's this one. Ooh. This one has lots of sounds. Yeah, that one's really rattling. And this one is from our dear Megan from Texas, uh, where you are. You could have yeah. gone and picked it up. I, yeah. Um, okay, Megan says you can do them in any order, but Mara's is, in fact, the most important. You could even do it at the end for the grand finale. Okay. So we can do it for the grand finale. And, in fact, I like that answer because when I went to go uh, pick up one of the first package that got here, there was another package in our <gasps> P.O. box. And this is not for the fan project, 
because it got here in November, but it's a present, and I feel like we should open it anyway. So let's open this one first. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Cookie, are you going to help me open it? Ooh. Cookie, the, uh, ding, 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 ding. the secret third host of the podcast, <laughs> occasionally. Most <gasps> of Cookie's... Oh, God. What is it? Oh, my God. Who is this from? It doesn't have a name. Somebody bought us ten means. Oh! <laughs> There's two copies of the Act 2 Never Gonna Dance oh Again. God. They got us the Heaven one. Oh, my God. And the Hell. Oh, wow. I'll take this one because I know you prefer Soft Yes, that Timmy. would be your aesthetic <laughs> better. It does. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And it comes with this. <gasps> Ooh, cards. Big cards. And two stickers. Oh my god, those are so cute. So cute. Um, this doesn't have a name. It doesn't say who it's from because it came directly from the, the music the plaza. Store. Um, so whoever this was, thank you so much thank for getting you. this for us. This album is beautiful. I can't wait to do... Uh, to look through it, maybe when Shannon and I are back together, we can do a little unboxing. Yeah. Um, but that's, wow, so lovely. Thank they didn't, you. nobody even like messaged and told us that that was coming. So that was just like a pure surprise. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Whoever that was from. Harley's? Yes, let's go. Okay. Let's go in order of size. <laughs> Harley's is heavy. I'm very intrigued. Ooh, okay, I don't know what this is. It's something of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh. It's a GOT7. Oh my gosh, this comes with quite a, quite a few different things. Okay, we have like a little... This... Uh, <laughs> It's shiny it like and it's see-through chain thing. It's like a yeah, it's like a keychain, but it says something in Hangul, and I don't know what it is. Okay. Then there's a little photo card of Yugya. Cute. And oh, this is like a whole. It says Yugya on the back, but it has JB on the front. Oh, I wonder if it's just a whole set of God Seven cards. It's cards. Oh, it's cards. It's God Seven. Uh, Breath of Love, last piece. Cards. Oh, last. Oh my god, does that mean that Jackson is blonde? <gasps> I don't know. Go through them. Okay, oh my god, JB. JB. Yes, lovely. I hated that mullet, but he looks fine. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Dangly earring, Mark? <laughs> oh my god, just for me. Girl, did you know Mark is moving oh back my. to town? Yes, I do. <laughs> I haven't made my peace with it yet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jackson! Oh, look at him. Oh, look I'm at almost him. sad that the lighting makes his hair look pink because yeah. it's such a beautiful blonde, but he looks fine. But wasn't it As pink always. in the second in the video for last piece? It was blonde You're right, in the breath. It was and pink. Then... It was blonde in breath. Ooh, look at how pensive he is. Oh my god, he's just really so looking serious. at that orb. Um, also pensively looking at oh, a cube things perfect ding, skin ding, ding, ding. beautiful oh yes bam bam is Whoa. that rat tail rat tail bam bam yeah double rat tail <laughs> does it count as a rat tail if it starts up here i don't i don't know i thought it's or is it like an obi-wan kenobi braid oh a padawan braid yes yeah that's what it is <laughs> that's what it is he's got two does that mean he's a he's he's almost graduating? Maybe. I'm just kidding. I don't know anything about Star Wars. <gasps> oh, you gum, you look so pretty. Oh my god. Look at how handsome he is. He's so grown up. I can't he's believe it. He's so grown it. up. And these pretty earrings. Love them. Pretty. Okay, that's the first part of Harley's. A little got seven <laughs> goodbye package. <laughs> I've yeah, I've Really have not dealt with that at all We're yet. We're going to have to talk about that <laughs> later. This is a happy day. Yes. Okay. Then the other one. Oh, should I have opened this? It says, do not open until the third <laughs> anniversary fan project. 
A lot of the emails say that in the title. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. Ah! <laughs> okay, this is for me. It's Chanyol from Obsession. <laughs> oh, look at scary Chanyol. Scary, so scary. <laughs> Everyone in the EXO chat lately has been talking a lot about how much they love Obsession and, like, you guys. I think we're just too desperate for content and we're remembering it wrong. We're Because that was the last thing and it's, like, clinging. maybe Like, we're pretending that it was Oh, so like, great. they're all pretending because like it was better than like it, was. it was. The album's really good. That we, it was a good album. The album's really good. But it's just okay. been so long. I'm going to, this is a letter. It's a beautiful handwritten letter and it's literally covered in stickers. It's so cute. Oh my God. Look at all those good stickers. I know Harley has an excellent album collection. And so I really appreciate that he used his stickers. All of these stickers are from albums. It's really cute. And I'm going to go ahead and read it. Um, even though we're going to save most of the letters for later, because this one came with. So it says, Dear Shannon and Angelica, I'm writing today for two reasons. First, I wanted to give you some gifts for Shannon. Shannon, this one's yours. I hadn't gotten to it yet. The Luna album. Uh, This is for Shannon. Please enjoy this Luna Midnight album. I'm truly so proud of Luna, and I know you'll find at least one song to rave about. (laughs) For Angelica, I included a nice postcard size photo of everyone's favorite stewardess bagging top. Tall glass of water, fuck boy. As well as some pre-order goodies I got with my Got 7 albums. If you or Shannon can tell me what the heck is written on this little trinket, then I would be in your debt. Oh, this is the little trinket that I don't know. I'll get, Shannon will get it. I'll I'll figure it out. The second reason for my writing is that we alikes, AMAK stands, Mm -hmm. wanted to show our appreciation for your three-year anniversary of putting on this wonderful show. Three things I love about AMAK. One, I love to hear about the groups that I don't normally follow. Two, I love to hear about the groups that I do follow because it feels like I'm sharing something I love with my best friends. Three, I love that two amazing friends dedicate, decided to dedicate their time into making something beautiful to share with the world. My three favorite episodes are number one, extra, exo travaganza, parentheses, channel enlist now. <laughs> Number two, anything with you, Song Jordan, and other Earwolf folks. Number three, support girl groups, 20, whatever. You knew this was coming. (laughs) The three ways it has changed my life. One, I've become more appreciative of K-pop styling and looks, something I didn't pay much attention to before. Uh, Number two, I feel way more comfortable talking to K-pop with my friends who weren't already into it and I'm more interested in attending concerts. And number three, I learned to treat K-pop like it's something fun and not grave or job-like. Here's to another wonderful three years. You're our inspiration. Harley. Thank you, Harley. Thank you, Harley. I will treasure this. These letters are going to really get me. Yeah. (laughs) It's a good picture. It it is a good picture. I mean, it's a scary picture, but he looks hot. Yeah, it'll do. <laughs> I bet there's something they, in that Devil Taming album that you could also pair it with. Oh, look probably. at their beautiful black they gowns. Look, yeah, their dresses look amazing. The reflection from my computer is like fucking with it, but they look so pretty. And it's like a hardcover book. Ooh, exciting. It's like all of this is uh, pages, pages that you can look through. Nice. We'll do a little unboxing with our sure. Timmy albums. <gasps> all right, all right. That means it's Megan's, Megan's turn. turn. Okay. This appears to have like multi... I'm trying to decide what, what's the easiest way to open this. And I don't... I guess I'll open it from the side. <laughs> There's a lot of tape on it. Well, considering what happened to the last thing Megan sent us, I I don't blame her for taping it up. Postal thieves are the worst. The worst. Why do people steal things? Not cool. I don't know. But I made a, I filed a report with the Postal Inspection (laughs) Service. The federal agency. (laughs) They said they would take it very seriously. Oh, it... (laughs) It's just a bag it in a box. It inside of a postal <laughs> office bag. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, these are so cute. There's like, this is like a little care package. 
of like stuff. Okay, well, there's so many things in here. There's some chocolate covered coffee beans. Delish. From Standpipe Coffee House in Lufkin, Texas. All right. There are some Slowpoke Caramel Chewy Candy Bars. All right, because that's her. She's Slowpoke Megan. I get it. Oh, cute. <laughs> Chico Stick. Crunchy peanut butter rolled in toasted coconut. Oh, yum. Because we're chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, are all are these all? I don't know. The slowpoke one, that one makes, makes me sense, think though. that maybe there and is there the a co- the Lufkin, Texas, right? That's right. Yeah, she there is, must be right? a. Uh, okay, what are these? Rainbow twists. I don't know. These are like chewy. Ooh, I don't know if they're chewy actually. No, they're not. They're hard. I'm excited to eat them though. I love. I candy. love hard candy. My love dentist candy. hates that I love hard candy, but I love hard candy. I love hard candy. Okay, and then we have. Aha! Okay, explanations. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, fun! She also gave us stickers for her parents' tattoo shop. Adorable. I love They stickers. are called Black Spot Tattoo. Awesome. Ooh, these stickers are cool. They're very neat. I love stickers. Oh, fun. Me too. Skeleton stuff. Okay, we have three postcards from Megan. Okay. I am thinking this one's the first. Okay. It's a smoky bear. <laughs> it says, hello. Okay, so this postcard obviously isn't an East Texas exclusive, but it was cute. Anyway, this is a card to explain the items. The chocolate-covered beans are from my family's coffee shop. Oh, oh Megan. The stickers are from our tattoo shop. The rest of the candy is from Atkinson Candy Co. My great-grandmother's aunt founded Atkinson with her husband. Oh, my God. So this is just like Megan family treats. Adorable. This is so special. And Megan, I now that I've met your mom, it feels like I also, this feels even warmer. Like, I sorry. I know. <laughs> and her brother is designing her a like tattoo. I'm like very excited. We're, 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 we're got just this like whole in the family. <laughs> I got all the postcards from the local forestry museum that I've gone to since I was a little kid. I hope you enjoy everything from my corner of the world. Oh, that's so sweet. So there's also this postcard. Okay. Long it horns. says a team of eight oxen with loaded log wagon. The ind- and then she wrote the industry in deep Texas used to be logging. Neat, huh? Honestly, I just thought the oxen were cute. Love it. They are cute. Okay, and then this uh, this one is the third postcard. Okay, yes, art. And it says, this photo of the mural at Cotton Square Park in downtown Lufkin was taken by blah, blah, blah. The mural, which depicts the history and heritage of Angelina County, is one of several to be added to downtown. And she wrote, hello, ladies. This beautiful mural is located just a few blocks away from my family's coffee shop and tattoo shop. I hope you guys find it as pretty as I do. I tried to include a good variety of things from my hometown, and I hope you enjoy everything. Sorry for my bad handwriting. (laughs) Oh, thank you, Megan. Yay! Not only for this sweet present, but for truly everything that you do for us for organizing this whole thing. You're precious and wonderful, and we appreciate and love you so much. Yes, you mean so very much to us, dear Megan. Thank you for all of these, like, sweet and personal gifts. Yes, it's so... This is so lovely. Also, the fact that you have a candy shop in your family is goals. Yeah. (laughs) A coffee shop, a candy shop, and a tattoo shop. And a tattoo shop. Those are great things to have in the family. Come on. I don't need anything else. This is fantastic. Oh my God, I would be like covered in tiny tattoos if there were if like my dad had a tattoo shop. I think that's why Megan is covered in tiny tattoos for that very same reason. I guess that's true. <laughs> okay, are we ready? I for guess the grand I don't know what it's finale. gonna be, but everyone's so hyped about it. I'm scared, and Mara's so funny and clever that I'm just I don't even know what to think could be in it. I know she was really funny too because so because this is from the United Arab Emirates. Uh, It had to come DHL, right? And DHL doesn't deliver to post office, PO boxes. I don't know why, but they don't. So I had to give her my, like, actual address um, so that she could send it to me. 
and um, <laughs> I, I was, she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, like, blah, um, like, so sorry for all of this. And I was like, no, it's totally fine. Like, I trust you with my <laughs> information. Um, but then she was like, she was like, not to pat myself on the back, but like, I think it's pretty cool. I <laughs> can't wait. Um, okay. It's, it's covered in bubble wrap, so I want to like... Open it and keep the surprise. <gasps> oh my god! It's a handmade box. <laughs> oh my god! Look it! It's a handmade box. Oh my god! Okay, so this is the logo, and I really hope that the camera picks this up. Oh, <gasps> it's got so much glitter sparkle glitters in it. They are tiny. Indiv each one of it's these is an individual star that has been paste glued individually oh my god there is a gold drip rim oh yes must be the all drip. around and this is a, a box it's like, like a, a wood it's box. made of wood and it's purple on the bottom oh good good choice are we ready yes to open it i guess Not gonna happen. <laughs> it's just the box. <laughs> we can't open the box. <laughs> oh no. I know there's something in the box. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Am I opening it wrong? Shut. Oh, oh. I know that happened with the one you made me for my wedding that sometimes I have to knife pry it because the like paint sticks over time. Oh, <gasps> it was stuck. I think I, it sounds like you're making progress. Okay, that side is oh, I'm stuck. This stuck is unstuck, unstuck, unstuck. Sorry, this is a little anti-climactic. I'm like trying to help you with my mind. Like it would be <laughs> if you were here, you could hold the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why is this so <laughs> I get it? Oh my god. Okay. Beautiful. It smells really good in this box. It's like aromatic. Oh my god, I don't even Oh my god. What is I think it? I know what this is. Okay. The main present is covered in Fuss. hay. Okay. So I'll start with the card. Start with the card. It says to Shannon and Angelica. Oh, she wrote our names in Arabic at the top. <gasps> cool. Pretty. From Mara, aka future CEO of Team Wang and president of anything that has to do with Big Ton. <laughs> <laughs> this postcard just says Stan Victon, you cowards. <laughs> Mara, I love your Oh my god, energy. are these magnets? Oh Mara, okay, you didn't know this about me, but I collect magnets from all over the world. It's a collection my mom started and I'm gonna add these to my fridge. Oh, that's so nice. One is for you and one is for me, obviously. Oh, for sure. But it's the Burj Khalifa, which is in Dubai. And she can see it from her balcony. Yes, and sometimes it does exo things, which is very <laughs> exciting. Okay, so Stan Victon, you cowards. That's Got the camel. It. Dear Shannon and Angelica, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Honestly, at this point, I feel like 2021 will be like a game of Jumanji. <laughs> but you know what? I know we will be okay because you guys will be there giving us the tea, knowledge, and just keeping us company at all times. Thank you for everything you've done. You made my K-pop experience 1,000 times better, but also my life as well. I know this sounds like an exaggeration, but genuinely. I found your podcast at my absolute lowest, and I was able to find not only high-quality tea, but a safe and wholesome community. 
She drew a heart and then she wrote an arrow. This is the ugliest motherfucking heart. (laughs) Also, special thanks to Megan for organizing this. You sweet angel number one Wanho fan. I wish you guys all the best in this world because you are the best. Enjoy these Dubai fridge magnets and AMAK light sticks. What? My hands are shaking. (gasps) Are you kidding me? (laughs) It says ask me about keep up with the stars again. Wait, wait. It has a star on the bottom. Oh and on the bottom. It says, Hello. let idols bang. Oh this my is the God. greatest. <laughs> you guys. This is the greatest thing <laughs> I've ever seen. Oh my God. This is amazing. Wait, why doesn't this one turn on? Oh, I wanted to put the lights in both of them. Aha. This one will turn on. Is it like a glowy ice cube? It's a um. It's a little. Oh, what is this light? Candles. <laughs> Dink. Dink. Oh ah! my god! Oh my god! Those are so perfect. I can't believe it. Oh, these are so wow. beautiful. Oh, I love crafts. Like yeah, this, I this love crafts. Knowing that you made this touches me so deeply because I know the work that went into it. Mm-hmm. And it's so clever and sweet. And you made our little silly dream of our silly light sticks. They're real now. They're Aww. real and they're beautiful. And they're so funny. The let idols bang mm-hmm. is such a perfect touch. Yes. This would be so funny too if it was like a real champagne glass and like every time you drank it was just like <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> oh wow. What a real what a real incredible treat. Also, the way that you were able to mimic the font is yeah, really Yeah, well it's done. like it's so well done. And I yeah. love, I love the individual stars. It's so, cause from far away yeah. and then, wow. Yeah. Wow. It's really amazing. And I am super into this box. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to use it to hold, we're going to hold all of our mail and all of our, all our oh fan God, mail, yes. all our lovely fan things are going to go. This is our official fan mail box now. Yes. Mara. It's so beautiful. Thank you to everyone who participated in this project to everyone who joins us on the discord and joins us every week. I mean, we wouldn't be doing this if you guys didn't care. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like we said, it's still really early for us. So, um, we'll take a pause right now and then we'll come back in a few days for the rest of this episode. Cause I want to give y'all a chance for the like letters and stuff to come in, but no, just, for the people who are watching the video early know how overwhelmed with gratitude we are and we will read every single one of your letters. I don't know if we'll read them all on air, but like we will read and appreciate every single one of them. I'm just like so overwhelmed. And ever since I woke up, I've had Ace stand by you stuck in my head because of that part where they go. Oh, it okay, and then no, I gave you on Twitter so. Because that means, like, and so I will write you a letter. And, like, everybody's been writing us letters today, and that song just, like, is the most, like, group huggy. Like, I, was, I don't know. I'm just, I'll be playing it right now. You can probably hear it. I'll put it under the episode because <laughs> that's what my heart feels like right now. Um, yeah. Yes, my heart is full. My heart is full, too. Very, very full. Um, So we'll end this little video reaction here. 
and the rest of the episode will continue audio form on Wednesday with more letters and more love and celebration. Thank you all. We love you so much. We love you. Thank you. All right, we're back. It's been a few days for us, but only a second for you. And Angelica has gone back to the P.O. box to get some more goodies. <laughs> and I've got emails to read. So we're just going to go back and forth and try to fit as much of the love that y'all sent us into this episode. And if we don't get to your message or letter or whatever, it is loved and we read it. Just y'all, there was a lot. I'm still this overwhelmed. Will, this is just a this is just a highlight reel. Yes. Um, I know that we. I mean, yes, the outpouring of love has been amazing, and we are like treasuring every word. Um, but there were some prompts, right, for the letter mm-hmm. writing campaign of this beautiful project. Um, and so we'll probably just sort of skim through as we we are now opening these all for the first time, and so you will be hearing like edited reactions I'm sure um but we're just gonna try to pull out some you know poignant moments um that we that mean a lot to us that we're happy that you shared with us absolutely and we'd like to share back with you um will you start with a fun you have packages I want yeah do you want me to start with the packages okay I'm gonna I'll start with the little package it's from Tosh and it's bright pink Yes, great envelope color. It's beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay. So there is a little postcard, Ooh, a and pusheen. it says, "Yes, it's a little pusheen <laughs> riding a bicycle." Uh, And it says, friends, happy third anniversary. Wow, time flies, huh? But at the same time, it kind of feels like you guys have always been there. Weird, maybe so. Anyway, I refuse to get mushy on a postcard. That's what the email is for. Okay, so there's another email from Tosh. But thanks for everything the last three years. Y'all rock my socks. Cute. And then there's some little Pusheen merch. Oh, adorbs. Sticker. I keep forgetting where the camera is sticker and a little notepad oh yes i love stationery and another notepad that says how i feel oh a little (laughs) self-reflective adorable self-reflective cats i love it thank you thank you tosh i have tosh's email open right now um so i will read their they answered the three things i love about the podcast question um, and number one is informative. Love an informative podcast. I love learning about history, culture, and how the industries works. Those deep dive episodes are chef's kiss. <laughs> Two, unfiltered. I know you obviously have to edit, but you always say what you mean and mean what you say. Thank you for telling it like it is, even when it's not something everyone agrees with. You're also not afraid to say something and be wrong and make a correction later, and I deeply appreciate that. Um, I remember when you first heard about Seventeen and one of you was like, oh my gosh, that poor member named S. Coops, yikes. And then six months later, <laughs> carrots for life. <laughs> um, and then number a three. A scoop of ice cream? That's what I always think <laughs> of. Always, <yeah. laughs> uh, so on that note, number three is ever changing. There's always something new you're trying, new topics, new kinds of format to interact with listeners. It's so fun and a part of what it makes, what makes it feel like we're all really friends. Um, and three and a half, important note, and Helika's laugh cracks me up. I love it so much. Oh, thank you. Uh, ah. Tosh, Tosh ended their email by saying, you two really inspire me to be myself and not be embarrassed about what I love or how excited I am about it. I love our little community we have and feel so happy that I can be a part of it. Thanks for being my sunshine for the past three years. Oh, We're hugging oh, ourselves Tosh. to hug you. <laughs> thank you. That's so Thank sweet. Thank you. Yeah, that's wonderful. And uh, truly, like, those, the three things that you listed as being your favorite are things I think that we both take a lot of pride in and, like, do honestly try um, to, like, make those core aspects of of this informative yes. podcast. So thank you. That means a lot. Um, Let me, I have another email here that I just, like, have to, uh, like read this so this answer is from a listener who goes by dust on all of the 
things like on discord or whatever Mm -hmm. and they sent a lovely email that has their favorite reasons and things they're grateful for or whatever but what i want to call out is they wrote us a poem (laughs) so here's the poem and they wrote i really wanted to give a poem as a gift it didn't come out as planned dot 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 Mm -hmm. here we go all right our beloved podcast three years ago was the day we had our first amak what is K-pop was the question. We learnt new things in every session. Battles of songs that share name, compare idols who look the same. Stop the drama, <laughs> let idols bang. Group deep dives, that's our thing. So let's fangirl laugh or cry. I bet I rhyme better than Psy. Every week with new sensation, Jung Hyun, you're our inspiration. Oh, oh. No. Whoa. snap, 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 snap. Oh my god, I loved it! Thank you, Dust. I don't think anyone's ever written me a poem in my life. That was very exciting. I love it. We need to, for our, whatever our duo's debut is, we can have that Mm. be the rap break. Perfect. (laughs) Yes, yes, yes. We can have a featured artist, a a fan come in. Yes, (laughs) for sure. That would be so funny. I love it. Oh my gosh, thank you. What a treat. Um, you have another box, I think. I do have another box. I'm so I'm too excited about the boxes. I know there's a stack of envelopes, but boxes are just I know, too but exciting. this is I didn't expect another box. This is very exciting. So this box is stamped fragile. Okay. And it is from Kendra in Oregon. Very carefully taped. Yes. Love, care. Okay, first, a card. Beautiful. Oh, look at what lovely handwriting. Ooh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, I can't tell who it is. I can't tell who it is either. Okay, so this card has is like a picture of somebody hugging a tree, but the person hugging the tree has like a sticker of an idol over it, and I am not going to lie, I really don't know who it is. <laughs> I can't I tell. Who's had I a long tell. blue mullet like that? Oh my God, wait, is that Yibo? Maybe it's I think that's Wang Yibo. From mm. Unique. I think that's for me. <laughs> okay. It says, yep, it, I was right. <laughs> it's Yubo. It says, hugs from cool guy Yubo. <laughs> okay. Because he's hugging great. a tree. Okay, that's very cute. I'm definitely putting this on somewhere in my house on Absolutely. display. You have to. <laughs> it says, dear Shannon and Angelica. Here is a little love from Oregon. Please choose one of each item you like the best. I wish you a very happy third AMAK anniversary, your devoted old fan, Kendra. Oh, there is a much longer letter. Okay, there is also a longer letter, and it says, Dear Shannon and Angelica, Happy AMAK third anniversary. While I can't claim to have been a listener from the very beginning, it's pretty dang close. I started listening to K-pop in October 2017, and not long afterwards, I found your podcast. Since then, you have been both guides and companions on my K-pop journey. As an older, uh, sorry, as an older K-pop fan, I'll be 47 this month, you are the ones who helped me get over being self-conscious about my age and attend my first K-pop concert, Pentagon 2019. Oh. <clears throat> when there was no one else to share my K-pop feelings with, I turned to you. While listening to your show, I've laughed with you, squealed with you, and shouted out answers to games. Before AMAK, podcasts were informational or inspirational, but now I know the best kind of podcast is the one you listen to 
for pure fun and joy. As a small business owner, I am an acupuncturist with my own practice and a mom. My nine-year-old son likes a few K-pop songs. His favorite is Ice Cream by Blackpink and (laughs) Selena Gomez because he thinks it's actually about ice cream. (laughs) I (laughs) I don't get a lot of time just for pure enjoyment. AMAK provides that for me, and I look forward to every episode with eager anticipation. I hope you know how much how much more you bring than just information on K-pop. I feel that what AMAK really is about is love. Oh, that kind of pure, okay, sometimes not so pure love. <laughs> All right, call us out. Yeah. Uh, you feel for something amazing and beautiful and getting to share that love with someone else. I really want you both to know how valuable what you do with the podcast is. You have something magical, and I believe it will become something that you can do professionally. Can't wait to become a new Patreon as part of my 2021 goals. I appreciate you both so much, and I hope I get to fangirl over you both in person one day. With so much love, Kendra. Oh, wow! that's a very nice letter. That is a really nice letter. Thank you for your support and your encouragement, Kendra. And for this Yibo. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Now that I know who it is, I can see him clearly. <laughs> okay, present time. All right. There's stuffing because it was marked fragile. <laughs> okay, there's mugs. Oh, boy. Oh, cute. It's pretty. Beautiful. Like beautiful trees. It's handmade and hand painted. Gorge. The little forest scene. For Oregon. That, I think that was another, another part of the. I think there was something about share your home as mm. part of it, too, because of the postcards and stuff. <gasps> There's a Bigfoot on that one. <laughs> oh my God, that's There's so cute. There's a Bigfoot on this one. That is really cute. I love it. I love that. Adorable. 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 We need to get, we need to have like a soundboard. A soundboard. Yeah. For to do drops. Yeah. Okay. And then there's, I heart my hood, for Mount Hood oh <laughs> ornament. God, look at that cute little <laughs> mountain. It has a little smiley face. And there's a friendly Yeti magnet. Oh, my God. (laughs) And then there's two coasters. Cute. These are beautiful. All of these things are beautiful. Oh, sorry. (laughs) The phone keeps falling. These are gorgeous. Kendra, thank you so much for sending us this. Um, These gifts, I think, like, paint such a cute and a sweet picture of where you live Mm -hmm. um i feel like i can i can just imagine sitting in a sitting in a cabin listening to the rain Mm -hmm. (laughs) yes that's that's what i think of when i think of oregon (laughs) yeah no totally same same forests and and watching a yeti walk by yes (laughs) yes yes (laughs) see we need to meet team mean soundboard (laughs) yeah of just to mean sounds <laughs> yeah we should make it an app and charge yes. two dollars in the store and everybody will love our to mean soundboard i mean i would pay for that <laughs> <laughs> um okay let's bounce to an email um this one is from angela and angela listed their three favorite episodes uh and they wrote Episode 87, Roses and Thorns. The thorns were extra thorny for me, because I, especially because I bias Wanho and Sully. Because I lost several biases in su- such a short time span, I seriously fear, feared for mental stability and prayed for months that he was safe and with people he care- who cared for him. I needed this episode to start to heal and to think rationally about everything. The roses were wonderful. 
Episode 27, coworkers react. Shannon's coworkers sounded like small kids, and Shannon sounded like a wise teacher <laughs> explaining everything when they were talking about the videos, and it was very wholesome. Episode 41, We Got Married special. I saw almost all the seasons of We Got Married. It was one of my very first variety shows together with Shiny Hello Baby. Oh, my school and you kiss vampire show. It was a funny, cringy and scripted, but I enjoyed every single moment. Hashtag Adam couple for the win. <laughs> so thank you for sending your favorite episodes and for listening, Angela. Uh, yes. And thank you for shouting out that we got married episode because that was very self-indulgent of us. It and was. I'm glad you liked it too. <laughs> But that was also one of my first variety shows along with Hello Baby. So Mm -hmm. relatable. All right. I'm going to open this uh, envelope next. It has something inside of it that sounds like glitter. So I'm a little worried for my carpet, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, Also, it has a wax seal on the back. Cool. I watch so many wax seal videos on TikTok. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Okay. But I have to break it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was right. There's glitter there everywhere. There is glitter. All right. Um, but also when I open it. <laughs> it's immediately a chanyol going. It's rawr. chanyol. <laughs> but like a baby chanyol. <laughs> like a school picture chanyol. Oh my God. What is this? It's, it's stuck. Oh, is it part of this whole thing? Oh, it's, it's purposefully like that. Oh, so that he would be the glitter so bomber. he would be. Oh, Chanyo, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate the, the thought that went into it. Yeah. Okay, I'll take him out later. Oh, man, the glitter. Okay. I'm going to open it over the box. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Try to self-contain. Okay, so I've got, there's an EXO sticker. Ooh, uh, look at all those suited EXOs. Suited EXOs. And then it says, thank you for you. Aw. And <laughs> ironically, the the card on the back, the business is seasoned with salt. <laughs> it's covered in glitter. <laughs> okay. This says, oh my gosh, there's so many things in it. It says, <clears throat> happy three year anniversary to the podcast. Thank you so much for all the effort you put in. I know both of you have quote unquote real jobs. <laughs> so all the time you spend on us listeners is much appreciated. I hope you feel the love back. I hope you like the stickers. Sorry, not sorry for the glitter. <laughs> Your listener, Jules. <laughs> okay, so there's tons of EXO stickers. Oh my God, look it. And they're like old school, beautiful EXO stickers. Yes. Um, yes. Some of them are little stamps. And there's a sticker that also says I got 99 problems, but my bias ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. A lay sticker for oh you. Oh my God, my Yishig. Look how cute he is. You look so handsome. Oh my God, look at these fucking dorks. Oh my God, look at them all. There's so many. All the exos in their little dorky outfits. And with their little, look at that kid's glasses. Yeah, I see them. They are <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh my God, look at these. Look at these shorts. <gasps> oh my God, those pictures. Oh, Oh my my God. God. These are so great. Okay, so all of these, to uh, to describe, (laughs) all of these are, like, old pictures of EXO. Like, first, I mean, I don't know. This is from, like, Love Me Right, maybe, because that looks like Kai's Love Me Right hair. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Mm, Yes. But... I don't know. Oh my gosh. There's also, okay, so there's a lot of like exoplanet. Oh, exolution. Whenever that one was. Maybe that's what these are from. Okay, anyway. There's a lot of beautiful stickers in here. They're lovely. And there's also, 
these hey, little that's, decals. That's our logo. It's our logo. Oh my God. Those are so cute. So included among these, uh, Early gen <laughs> EXO photos uh, and EXO merch are two handmade AMAK logos that we can put on anything. This is so fun. I know. You can make I a little tote it. bag or something. Amazing. Jules, thank you so much for this card, for these lovely stickers, for these decal, and for the, I guess, handful of glitter that I have now. <laughs> fun. um okay this next email i have is from jillian in canada and she wrote a couple little lists and one is uh three ways that the podcast has changed my life number one introduced me to iu who i now stand and whose music i listen to whenever i'm sad Two, all the K-pop knowledge. I wouldn't know half the music or K-pop history I do without this podcast. Or And three, the sense of community. I, like many other listeners, don't have many friends who listen to K-pop, and the community that you've created through the podcast is amazing. I love reading all the K-pop combos in the Discord, and I can always count on you guys to squeal about the latest news, which always makes me feel like I'm talking to a friend about K-pop. I really appreciate the hard work you ladies do to create entertaining and fun content each week thank you for sharing your deep love of k-pop with the world and truly changing many fans lives i've attached a photo of my mom and i at the got seven concert in case you ever wanted to see what some of your fans look like and there's a very cute picture of cute jillian and her cute mom so thank you oh my gosh we do want to know what our (laughs) fans look like and also how fun that you got to share k-pop with your mom adorable love it thank you I love I love when people write in and tell us about the way that they share K-pop with their families. Yes, it's like so I nice. remember that Brie told us that I think her dad got her into K-pop. Yes, he really he liked, liked Red, Red Velvet. Velvet. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. All right, I have gotten some of the glitter off, so I'm gonna okay. open a new envelope. This one comes from Boston, Mass, which I always think of. Did you ever watch Zoom? Yes. Send it to Zoom. Yes. Oh, two, oh, two, four. (laughs) Something like that. I don't know if that's right. All right. Okay. I, she wrote her name in beautiful cursive and I think it says Marissa. Uh, (laughs) If it's not Marissa, I apologize. Dear Shannon and Angelica, congratulations on the third anniversary of the podcast. Even before COVID, you guys added such a bright spot to my week. These are such, things are so weird and hard these days. And I thank you for reminding me that it's okay to giggle about hot K-pop boys in between all the doom scrolling. I look forward to more thoughtful and fun episodes this year. Thank you so much for all the work and effort that you put in and for sharing your passion with us all. Marissa. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you for listening. And it is okay to squeal about hot boys. Yes. We need them. In times of need, turn to Turn to boys indeed. (laughs) Turn to boys indeed. Yes. I love that. I love that. Um, Okay. Printed somewhere. (laughs) Yeah, we need it on something. Um, Okay, so this next is an excerpt from a lovely long email from a listener named Eva, Ava, I don't know how you say it, but they are from the Netherlands and they wrote a beautiful long email, but I have to read a couple of these. They just did some bullet points of things that they needed us to know. Um, So the first one says, Angelica and her love for fuck boys. I feel you, girl. I feel you. Really, your opinions on a lot of things, not just fuck boys, are exactly the same as mine. So much that it scares me, but I enjoy it so much. <laughs> um, Shannon saying that if all of her biases were burning in a house rather than saving one, she'd go in and die with them. Iconic. I was taking a walk outside while listening to this, and people would look at me as if I escaped a mental facility because I really need to calm myself from laughing so much. And then this third one is one of my favorite. My mom thinking that I have a boyfriend because I keep grinning at my phone while listening to your podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's so cute. My 
My mom once asked if I was texting a boy and I was looking at pictures of me (laughs) now. And I said, nope. (laughs) Oh, boy. Um, Well, thank you for this lovely email, uh, Ava Lynn, for listening all the way from the Netherlands. You say in your email that you aren't caught up on the pod yet. So I wish you luck in that journey because there is a lot. (laughs) <laughs> there's a lot ahead well since you took us to the netherlands uh it's just a hop skipping away to stockholm sweden Ooh, and that's boy. where this postcard comes from um this person did not sign their name so i don't know who it's from uh but it says happy third anniversary you go girls you always <laughs> put endless love and dedication into the podcast and it shows you are my favorite podcast 2020 hasn't been a great year but it's been amazing how the community has grown grown and flourished with their discord you bring me so much joy and then they wrote in hangul go mao for many more anniversaries <laughs> to come cheers oh wait no i'm wrong they wrote from sisela 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 Cicela. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. And there's so many cute, pretty stickers on it. Oh my God. So fun postcards from around the world. Yes. So Look at this pretty picture of Stockholm. Adorable. Yay. Lovely. Thank you so much. For sending this to us and also thank everyone who um, covered their letters and stickers. You really know us. Well. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this next email I'm going to read is a digital postcard because this listener couldn't find a postcard from Atlanta. So they took a picture of Atlanta and then wrote a postcard and emailed it. That's adorable. I love that idea. Uh, dear Shannon and Angelica, happy three years. When I found the podcast back in August, I had no expectations of what I was getting myself into. I was just looking for something to listen to at work, and it happened to be related to my favorite genre of music even better and now after 30 episodes of k-pop 101 15 deep dives seven rounds of parlor games six song battles four episodes of book club two episodes of movie club a truly hellish year-end review and countless moments of screaming and or crying over shiny and a partridge in a pear tree i can't thank you guys enough for making my days brighter you've created a space where we can appreciate and share this wonderful thing that we all cherish and i think i speak for all of us when i say thank you so much for starting this podcast and for sharing your stories with us. So here's to another year of great music, great stories, questionable hair and fashion choices, and wonderful friends, and shiny. We can't forget shiny. Lots of love, Amanda. Oh my goodness, I absolutely adore that numbered list of things. <laughs> yes. that Because that makes, you know, like our podcast is, is in many ways an intangible thing, right? Because mm-hmm. we, we're just like putting these sounds into the air (laughs) yeah but then when you like list it out like that it really makes it feel much more much more concrete Mm -hmm. yeah and like a new listener even who like just got here taking the time that's so nice so Mm -hmm. thank you amanda all right this next one comes from oh it comes from jenna (laughs) oh (laughs) our friend jenna (laughs) Do, 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 do. Oh, it just says yay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a perfect card. Oh my goodness. Look at these shiny stickers. Oh my god, stickers. those shiny stickers. Oh my god. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> it says by K at Hop Pop. Oh my god, these stickers are so Oh my god, I love beautiful. Them. I could stare at them forever. So basically, um they're like a cartoon version of their one of one suits and the view music video outfits. Um but they don't have like faces. Yeah, they just have... it's like that color blocked style, mm-hmm. just like the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. The card says, Shannon and Angelica, in a dark and awful time, you work hard to create joy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you both. Happy three years. Three things I love about the pod. Number one, your thoughtful commentary on what idols can do better. 
Number two, your deep dive into icons, especially Boa, Shiny, and EXO. Number three, your honest joy and love for K-pop because that leads to joy, laughter, and a platform for accountability for all of us. Love, oh, Jenna. Jenna. So, so insightful, Jenna. That's why you're <laughs> our friend. I love oh, this. thank you for writing in, Jenna. You're one of the best things to come out of this podcast. Absolutely, absolutely. I love you so much. Thank you for sending a card. You didn't have to do that. You and these fantastic stickers. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah, save that envelope because I still need to send her her win-win thing. And I lost her address oh. is too far up in a. I got it. In a thread. Thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, here's another excerpt from a lovely, very long, very detailed, wonderful email from our listener Marie, but I'm going to read uh, the section of three ways the podcast has changed my life. Number one, you've really implemented yourselves as part of my weekly schedule and I look forward to every Wednesday. I associate so many episodes with specific places or memories. Side note, that's what I love about podcasts. It's my favorite thing about podcasts. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Number two, <laughs> your confidence about liking K-pop and talking to guests, coworkers, and family about it gave me so much confidence as well. Slowly but surely, I started coming out to friends as a K-pop fan late last year. Their reactions were mostly a surprise nod or a lack of interest, which I'm fine with. This doesn't sound like much to me, but it really felt like a revelation and improved my comfort level of talking to those friends a lot. And number three, I've never attended a K-pop concert, but you guys drilling into my head how life-changing the experience is, it's definitely on my bucket list for when concerts are a thing again. And referencing number two, I found a K-pop stand at my uni course because I started talking about it, and she promised to take me with her fellow K-pop concert crew. Needless to say, I look forward to K-pop concert experiences, and I don't think I would have been as open to it if it weren't for you guys. Wow. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot more really lovely stuff in this email and I thank you, Marie, but I just like that all of that is so nice. I'm really glad that our little show worked its way into your brain and now you, and now you share a thing you love and you have friends to go to a concert with when there's concerts again. That just makes, oh, it just makes me so happy. Yes, that has to be one of my favorite things that people do tell us, um, that, you know, our, our unabashed and unashamed love and joy for k-pop inspires people to share it with other people you know like to not have k-pop be a guilty pleasure um and i think that that's so important because it it i feel like i learned too late not too late but i learned you know it would have been fun if as a teenager I didn't have guilty pleasures. You know what I mean? Right. Like why make yourself feel guilty about something fun that makes you happy? Like what a waste of time that is to feel guilty about it. So I love the idea of, of just taking pleasure in things and not feeling fucking bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> because like why? You like it, it's <laughs> fun. Just like it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, sure. it, it always makes me really happy when, um, when our listeners feel the same way, because that's, that's what I want. I just want you to be happy. <laughs> yes. Okay, this next postcard comes from San Francisco. Oh. And um, the writing is... There's a lot of writing on here. It is from... Oh, wow. oh this is from, from uh, Chris Bukoy Brown. Oh, yes. He wrote... Uh, he typed this all out in an email in case the postcard was hard to read and sent a fan art that we really appreciate. Yes. I, I <laughs> It is easy to read in the sense that um, his handwriting is very clear. So I do okay. think I can read it. Um, but yes, I. oh my gosh, Chris, I loved that fan art so so much. Okay, this is what it says. It says, Dear Shannon and Angelica, congratulations on three years. As is the theme you've probably seen by now, your listeners are telling you three things that we appreciate about you, about you two and the podcast. Here goes mine. Number one, you've given me permission as an adult to fly my K-pop flag. Yes. See, this is what I want. This is all I want. Before your podcast, my burgeoning fandom was very much a secret. At 40 plus in male, I really kept it to myself. But you guys have shown me that fangirling isn't just the domain of 
literal girls, <laughs> which is related to dot, dot, dot. Number two, no one has boy groups up front like you. <laughs> to be gone. To be honest, other podcasts led by straight and gay men focus on girl groups. And though I'm also very into girl groups, I feel like the boy craziness is infectious. (laughs) And the way you stand for boys in the podcast is so loud and proud and unapologetic and demanding to hashtag let idols bang is a call for liberation fandoms need. (laughs) Number three. I've genuinely learned so much, especially history. While so much media is focused on the newest releases, there's a whole deep well I'd never been exposed to without you. You are... Oh, no. The stamp covered the some things up. It's... I have the thing open. I need you to... I need you to take it away. I've never been exposed to without you. You are the keepers of what is too soon to be forgotten as K-pop fandom grows, and so much is released so rapidly, and your weekly dedication to Jonghyun is so important. Bless him forever. I will be emailing you fan art as an anniversary gift. I hope you enjoy with love. Chris in San Francisco. Ah, Chris, thank you. So thank you for the beautiful fan art. It is truly lovely. Thank you for. Yeah, I love this. Like the. No, I love your number three of us. Like the idea keepers of things that are are, you know, not to be forgotten so quickly because you're right. Like there's so much k-pop coming out all of the time that it does often feel like things are just they get like a moment and then it's over um and so i do appreciate that but i also (laughs) number two yeah (laughs) that always shocks me when people say when people are like no one like really like other podcasts don't Don't talk about boy boy groups (laughs) why (laughs) I remember, I like never forget it. I remember the first time, I think it was the first time we were at the Hollywood Bowl to see Shiny. And there was like some girl behind us who was being very loud and obnoxious when they were like showing the like lineup before the concert started. And it was just like, boo, boy groups. Like, I only like girl groups. And was making a big deal about how she like only stands girl groups and like boy group stands are the worst. And I had never like heard that out loud before. I was like, (laughs) oh, do people feel that way? Because my world is so boy group centric. I didn't even know. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, people have told us that before. And every time I'm just like, hmm. I wonder what that life is like. (laughs) Peaceful. Peaceful, I'm sure. Mm, Yeah. Maybe. Um, Okay, this next email is from, I want to say that it's just pronounced Matilda, but maybe it's like, I don't, it's spelled fancy. M-A-T-H-I-L-D-E. Matilda? So I don't know. But they wrote in from the UK And they said, uh, thank you for bringing joy into our lives every week. I discovered you during lockdown. One day I wasn't feeling very well. And I decided that watching people fangirl over my favorite boy would cheer me up. So my first encounter with you was on YouTube. Your reaction to Mino's I'm home MV. At At the time, I was only listening to Shiny and EXO, so you helped me get into so many other groups. You've created an amazing community that's just as passionate as you, and you destroyed all preconceived ideas I had about K-pop fans. You're just as happy to love as many groups as you can. There's always space in the heart for more boys and girls, and there's no place for judgment in the AMAK family, even if it's about liking EXO's wolf. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you for this podcast. I'm no longer ashamed of liking what I like, and I shout my love for K-pop to anybody who will speak to me for more than five minutes. Thank you so much. I hope you stay safe and happy until the day we all can meet. Lots of love. Matilda, and uh, they included, I was sending, I was self-isolating, so I couldn't send you a postcard, but here are some pictures of where I listened to the podcast. And there's a picture from her parents' backyard in France and a picture of Cambridge, UK, where she lives. How wonderful. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, both of them. Yeah, really nice, nice views. Gorgeous. Unworthy of us. (laughs) <laughs> or we're unworthy no of it's those. like it's like we're traveling it's like we've been to oh, those yes. places we've been all yeah that's we very fun all, that's really nice actually okay here's one that comes from canada and it's Ooh. not a postcard it's a letter 
or it's an envelope. Oh, nope, I lied. It's a postcard inside of an envelope. It's two postcards. Ooh, though that's does that Susie's from the email? Yes. Okay, great. Yes, it is. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I see. One of the, she even numbered it. Wow, Susie, you're so organized. <laughs> okay. Just look at this gorgeous handwriting. Oh my god. So neat. All right. All right, Susie says, Hi, ladies. Happy third podcast anniversary. I've been a fan of K pop since 2012, thanks to our shining shiny. I wasn't very active while in university, but in 2019, I started to transition back to actively following and standing, which is when I started listening to the pod. It's always, read mostly, been fun to follow K pop, but honestly, this last year, after getting to listen to you and engage in the community you've created, it's been the most fun fangirl year yet. Hoping for more like this one minus the whole compromised global health and safety thing <laughs> i have enormous appreciation for the way you ladies tackle any of the more informative topics that you cover on the pod it's just great to hear well-researched points of view and delivery of information megan suggested we share our top three favorite episodes to celebrate the three-year anniversary so in no particular order there is the problematic blm cultural appropriation trio eps uh, so thankful for the well-researched and open-minded discussion. Producing a scandal. I remember this app being so interesting. I swear I love the fun stuff too. <laughs> it's so fun to hear you have fun fangirling. And lastly, hashtag support girl groups. Love the discussion and commentary. Picking three was tricky. I definitely look forward to every new app. Uh, so she says, I'm running out of space on my postcard. Thank you again. Love from Canada, Susie. Hashtag let idols bang. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so Susie. much, Susie. And the pictures are from Southern Ontario. Ooh, look at all that snow. All of that snow. It snowed for you. I did. I it did get for you snow. This year. I did get snow this year in Texas, and it was yeah. the last time that happened was the day before my 14th birthday. So it's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> but thank you, Susie, for writing in and for listening and for um, you know shouting out our for shouting out our more heavier topics. I know that sometimes you know we do like to we always try to have a good balance of like the you know h harder gotta, truths and like the, S Club and Seven the fun said, times. you got to take the good with the bad, the happy with the, the sad. happy with the sad. <laughs> Um, okay, this next email is from Finland, Ooh. Um, and uh, this listener's name is Sinitulia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, <laughs> um, but they wrote a nice email and listed out the reasons why we are their inspiration, the three reasons. Um, the first one is, I've always loved dancing, and I took dance classes when I was younger. My main gateway to K-pop was choreography, and I made it through the past year trying to learn K-pop choreos in my living room. As a 37-year-old former dancer, I felt too intimidated to start taking K-pop dance classes, but hearing you talk about your dance class, where most of the others are a lot younger than you, has given me courage, and I will for sure sign up for dance class when it's possible again. Number two, after the first two groups I fell hard for, I thought it would be impossible for me to make room in my heart for more idols, especially if it's just a group that has a lot of members. But the journey I witnessed you two go through since starting the podcast has me assured that there's always more room for these beautiful, talented <laughs> people in my heart. And third, most importantly, you've inspired me to unashamedly love K-pop. I don't need to hide or justify it. All that matters is it makes me happy. Oh man, I can't tell I can't tell you how happy it makes me to hear all of those things. All of those and that's things the are second great. that's the second person who mentioned that we always have room in our hearts for more boys yes. and girls, which is funny because literally every time we say, I don't have more room in my heart. <laughs> and every time we're wrong. Find it. Every time we're wrong. Yeah, your heart grows to accommodate. It's like the TARDIS infinite yes space. it's bigger on the inside <laughs> it's bigger on the inside <laughs> oh my turn okay here's an on another envelope this one comes from lizzie in new mexico <gasps> oh it's oh, a third cute. birthday card it has like a big three on it and more glitter glitter <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, she also included specific New Mexico postcards, but they are blank for us. Okay, great. Yes. I can't wait to so put she all wrote these cards inside in our there. card box. I know, our beautiful new fan mail box. Okay, so Lizzie <laughs> crossed out birthday and wrote anniversary. <laughs> Wow, it's already been three years. That's amazing. So for two fantastic ladies, a great big shiny three for great big special you. (laughs) Happy anniversary. And then she says, it's kind of like a birthday, I guess. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it's been three years? Thank you for three years of entertainment and learning on long commutes, time between classes and hours at crafting. Your laughter is contagious and always manages to brighten my day. I hope you get to share many more years of podcasting. Here's to more learning, more groups to get into, and so much more music to listen to. Lizzie. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, Lizzie. I love it. Um, This next email is another long, beautiful, touching, really sweet email. There's parts of it I could not read because I would cry. Um, But this is from Morgan in France. And I just wanted to read this one paragraph because I feel like you will appreciate it specifically. Um, So they said, Lastly, I wanted to thank you so, so much for the episode K-pop news and where to find it. I study information sciences and I'm in school to become a librarian teacher in France. The job that I aim for is very specific in the French educational system. I don't need to go into details, but I will teach middle schoolers or high schools about information and media with topics such as real and fake news, how to search effectively for documents, what authors' rights are, etc. I'm an inspiring teacher and this episode is gold. I I already loved your careful and insightful approach on important topics, but this one made me so happy because the theme is right up my alley. If my future students could understand English, I would be using this episode in the class. Uh, Also, to me, your best couple episodes were the ones on cultural appropriation. I'm white and I want to educate myself more on these topics. I learned about the Black Lives Matter movement in America and it inspired an anti-racist movement in France, too. I really, really appreciated that you did those episodes, truly. So I just wanted to, I had to read that part because we do really care about that stuff. We do really care about those topics and we put a lot of, of care into those episodes. So thank you. And I absolutely like as an educator myself, nothing makes me feel, nothing inflates my ego more (laughs) than someone telling me they want to use this podcast as an academic source. (laughs) <laughs> or that they want to assign this podcast as homework, as homework for students. That is the best compliment that you could ever give me. So thank you very much. <laughs> oh, my turn. Okay. This one is from Gieben. I don't know. <laughs> It's from Germany. <laughs> dear Shannon, dear Angelica, my warmest congratulations on your third podcast anniversary. Over the 140 plus episodes, you have spent countless hours researching, planning, and recording. You have also brightened the days of your listeners who are scattered across the world, as you can see from our postcards. Thank you for everything. You're alike, Marie. P.S. That building is my university. Oh, cool. Neat! That's a really nice building. Yeah, it's like an old Tudor style, I think, is the name of that type of architecture. Beautiful. <gasps> Thank you, Marie. Um. Okay, this next bit of email I want to read is from an email from our listener who goes by Jamtax on all of the things. Um, and I want to read their list of three favorite things about the podcast. Okay. Number one, I just love hearing the two of you loving what you love. There's something therapeutic about just witnessing joy. Every time you start laughing about something crazy or screaming over a boy's abs, it makes me smile. (laughs) Number two, your honesty. I've said it multiple times throughout this email, but you always try to be unbiased and honest. You make it clear when you pick something because it's because you like it versus it being important. You make your opinions clear and you make it clear that it's your opinion, which is a really important reminder to people in these in this day and age. And number three, your support of women. This is so important. And I love that you point out the misogyny in the K-pop industry and life in general. And you always make sure to support and encourage the young women, both in K-pop as well as in your community. So thank you. 
Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that last point in particular, because yes. I think we've joked about it on the show, but it has been a criticism that we've gotten a few times in the past mm-hmm. that we are are too boy crazy or that we don't support girl groups enough or even so far as to say that we ourselves are misogynistic. That in we some hate ways. women. Yes. <laughs> Which that criticism is just so laughable that like that didn't offend me, but it's still like I think about it all the time. (laughs) But uh, because it is a criticism we get often, and we do know that we are boy boy stand boy group stands, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I really appreciate. I appreciate you saying that Mm -hmm. because I think so. (laughs) Yeah, I think I certainly think we have a very feminist podcast, but whatever. <laughs> Nothing more feminist than the objectification of men. Am I right, ladies? Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of men, this one comes from Michael all the way oh. in Düsseldorf, <laughs> Germany. He wrote, Dear Shannon and Angelica, Happy third anniversary. Thank you very much for your amazing podcast. It has taught me a lot and brought me a lot of joy. I wish you nothing but the best for 2021. P.S. I only had stickers of BTS, but since they're drinking wine, it's on brand. (laughs) They are. Oh, look at that. They are wine. wine. (laughs) (laughs) But Michael, you've been here from the beginning. I feel like I, Michael is, is a, 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 very active member on the on the discord we've been chatting a lot about the untamed and it's been a great time (laughs) so thank you for for writing in michael you know one thing i i know this does it this is not just michael everybody does this and it's really beautiful it's one of my favorite things about the podcast but i kind of only recently noticed that that people did it um because whenever we go on the discord i just sort of keep there's a lot of channels on the discord and our discord server is the only one i've ever used so mm-hmm. like i just sort of check in on some topics and like that's i just like pop in every once in sure. a while um but i was scrolling through the introduce yourself chat yeah. um and every time someone comes in and introduces themselves somebody comes and welcomes them specifically yeah. and like recommends certain channels for them to go to or uh you know mentions like oh i also really like that thing uh come with me to this chat and let's talk about the comeback or something like they always some and it's not the same person and it's I not know. just our mods it's like a whole bunch of different people are always somebody is always Always there to welcome the new people like specifically and warmly and individually and that is very beautiful so thank you to every to everyone who does that (laughs) you're all so nice it's truly crazy you really are very nice i don't know what we did to deserve y'all okay so here's our last card It says, hello from San Francisco. Dear Shannon and Angelica, congrats on three years of an amazing podcast. I found your podcast this summer and it's brought me so much comfort and fun during a tough time. I always love your banter and insightful comments about music and choreo. I look forward to another year of listening. Keep being your awesome selves. Congrats again, Jess. Ooh, and based on the way they spell their name, this is another untamed buddy. Okay. (laughs) So thank you very much. Again, covered with stickers, which is lovely. And this is the the stamp says that it's from Half Moon Bay, which is a town near the little town that my aunt lives in. And every time I go to San Francisco, I meet her in Half Moon Bay for lunch. So this was very nice to see this Aww, little stamp from Half Moon Bay. Small world. Yes. And isn't that the most delightful name? It sounds like uh it sounds like Something out of a TV show. Half Moon Bay. It does. Or like it does. a fairy tale. <laughs> okay. um, well, I'm going to stop reading things here because it's been like an hour and a half of tooting our own horn. And that's <laughs> enough. But Allowing you to toot it for us. Yes. Um, but so, truly, so sincerely, y'all are really, really wonderful. And I just wanted to like specific, like get real for a second and specifically... A lot of you wrote in your emails, like, 2020 was so awful, and, like, thanks for, like, continuing to put the show out, like, during an awful year. And I just, like, gotta say that, like, 
it was really hard to keep putting the show out last year. Like real talk, it was like very hard. And some weeks I was like, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. But like when the time came to it and I thought about all of your beautiful faces and like how you count on us and that it is a fun thing that we all do together, like the magic would wash over me when it was recording time again and like we would get the episodes done the vast majority of the time some weeks it was still too hard but I just wanted to say thank you for thanking for noticing and for appreciating (laughs) it um because it was a true it was labor but it was labor of love because we do Mm -hmm. love you guys and we do love doing this show yes we do and it was I mean yeah, like all of you've said, it was a difficult year, and it was for us as well. Um, and sometimes that meant it was hard to get motivated um, to do anything, even the things that you do love. Um, but I do want to thank everyone for sticking with us, even when we took those little breaks, um, and for making it through this year. Um, because sometimes the best you can do is just make it through the day. Yeah. And that's good enough. It so, is good enough. Good job to all of us for making it through the year. And we're going to make it through another one. Yes, we are. Um, And a special sincere thank you to our Discord mods, Megan and Bree. Um, Not only for this project, but the things that they do every single day. Our Discord wouldn't be such a nice place if Mm -hmm. they were not there. Um, And I'm so grateful that Bree pushed to, like, get it made um, over the summer because we all clearly needed it really badly. Um, yeah, and I'm it just has so, become a I'm really so, nice place. I'm so proud of what it is, and I'm really happy that you're all, like, making friends with each other. And so many people mentioned in their emails that, like, the Discord is a haven for me now, and I have friends there, and, like, it's my place. And I just, I love that so much. So please continue to be nice to each other on there and be friends. And then <laughs> someday, like, Megan is hoping for, like, we're all hoping for, someday – KCON will happen again and we can do a meetup and everyone can wear a name tag with their username on it and then everyone can hug and it will be great okay that would be really cute we should have a username and like profile picture (laughs) (laughs) some people I like associate with their profile picture like right (laughs) for sure but yeah um Yeah, I I don't know what I could say that hasn't been said already, but just, like, thank you all for sticking with us, whether you've been here since episode one or you just got here last week. Like, thanks for listening to our podcast. (laughs) Yeah, welcome and thank you. And stick around. Because we're not, we're definitely not done. We have so much more to say and so much more to learn about. And the K-pop is ever changing and the history is always needing to be preserved. So yeah, we'll keep on keeping. And speaking of history, we'll be right back with a random game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. And in true a style, it's five member boy group. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, This group is called My Name, all one word. Mm -hmm. Uh, They debuted in 2011 um, and were created by a member of Fly to the Sky, which is an R&B duo from the early 2000s. Yeah, they are. Go ahead. Their company, the company they're under is called H2 Media. um, And shortly after they made their Korean debut, they did also debut in Japan. Um, And they've put out quite a bit of music. Altogether, they have five studio albums and two EPs uh, and 19 different singles. They are technically still together. Um, And they, it seems like all of their albums are Japanese releases so it seems like they have done um like all five of their studio albums are all Japanese releases so they might just do and promote more in Japan but all five of them uh have went on to the top five in the charts so so they must like be quite they must be pretty popular popular in Japan mm-hmm. but um, the last album came out in July 2018 so the that I think is the last music that they've put out they haven't put anything out since then yeah um it's the end of their 
bio is interesting because in 2017, when the oldest member enlisted, the other four went on the unit. Um, none of them got very far, um, but they did all go on the unit. And then in 2019, their company announced that they were disbanded. And then one of the members posted, uh, did an interview with the website and was like, no, we are not disbanded and we still have activities going in Japan. And then the company said, we retract the statement that we said they were disbanded. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. How, what, why, we don't know. Um, but I guess that happened in 2019. So I guess they're still together. Um, and we're going to watch their most viewed music video, which has over 8 million views. Um, and it's called Baby, I'm Sorry. Um, and it's going to be quite an epic. It's seven, it's almost eight minutes long. Um, and it has subtitles. So I don't know. We're in for a, a feature film. We're I in suppose. for a treat. And it also appears to be rated 19 plus. So I feel like yes, people for will violence, smoke I or think. get stabbed. I, yes. Maybe both. Maybe both. Let's see. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so two guys talking, looking. They're looking at, at the si skyline. skyline. Oh, things have changed. Things change. People change. And now they're looking at each other menacingly. Oh, and they're thinking. Is that why you're being crazy? Oh my God, Are that's the boxer from uh, Return of Superman. Okay, now there's boys in school uniforms throwing sand at the beach. Oh, someone brought beer. <gasps> nope. Oh no, oh, he no, got beat one up. Of them is beat. One of the boys got beaten up. And the others look really They're sad. They're all going to go fight. <gasps> what? An adult stole this kid's beer? That's mean. <laughs> You're an adult. Oh, oh shit. no. Fighting. Fight. <laughs> Just this one guy? Why did this Oh damn. Why did this he go to take them all hang. out by himself? Oh, no, now he's oh. getting kicked. Oh, here come uh -oh. the other kids. Nope, here are the others. Oh, wow, he's just laughing on the ground. They're psychos. <laughs> wow. Oh, man, they're like roundhouse kicking them. <laughs> Is this Cobra Kai? <laughs> are they all like a fight club? No, not this blonde one. Oh, the one who got, oh, this little <laughs> no. blonde one is, who has the busted lip is a little coward. Well, one of these boys got to play a Power Ranger. That's true. So, oh, is this? Oh, here comes the song. Tank top boy pushing fish underground gambling parlor. Uh oh, gangsters. Oh damn. <gasps> okay, so the like blonde Why is one he beating everybody up here now... too? Was oh, he like a hit? He's like a, he's muscle, muscle for hire. Fists for hire. Here they are drinking. Now the group of boys are drinking and someone's starting shit. At the Why does everyone want to fight this little blonde kid? <laughs> <laughs> everyone just wants to punch him. <laughs> that one is cute. Yeah, and beefy. There's like a beefy one that's tan and has earrings and is wearing like low cut tanks and every shot. Yeah, and his hair is really like smooshed onto his forehead. This is from 2013, so his hair is quite trendy and perfect. Oh, 100%. Some kind of business deal is happening. I don't know, there's a lot of like growling. Okay, yeah, oh, here oh, we go. Fists, fists for hire. We're fighting. Because the like, I don't know who this actor is that we're looking at right now, but the other one is a boxer and he was on Return of Superman with his mm -hmm. daughter for years and years. And the other tall guy with him is also a boxer. So I feel like they might have cast a bunch of athletes in this video to fight with this. Mm. Isn't he one of the members? Is he joining the ranks of the other guy? Oh no, is he gonna have to fight his friend? Does he not know that his friend is a fist for hire for the other bomb boss? Oh, I guess he Ooh, does. Sauna. Ooh, sauna. Oh my, <laughs> my, oh my. 
You can't oh, smoke you shouldn't in the sauna. Smoke in a sauna. <laughs> It's not even sauna y in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the two mob bosses are talking. One of them is naked and one of them is not. One of them is in a full ass suit. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking inside of a sauna. Get that way. Uh, it's already naked. hard to Ugh, breathe. It's so in hard a sauna to breathe inside of a sauna. <laughs> Why? What the oh no! Kid? Our boy from the band is like knocking around. Oh, and the blonde one. Oh no! Like, See, I was right. For this guy, he doesn't know. Oh, and he's rising in the ranks. Uh-oh. Got a new watch because he's so good at intimidating waiters. <laughs> uh oh. Don't fight you him. Can't He's try enormous. to fight him. He will destroy you. Like, oh my god. He could snap you with <gasps> Dude. <gasps> okay, so I think that our boys from the oh, band god. have been Oh shank. He's gonna get yeah. fucking stabbed. <gasps> oh so Oh stabbed. shit! Oh my Holy god! Shit. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! It's like full horror murder. Everyone is covered in blood now. Oh my god. Oh my god, that sprayed all over his face. <gasps> he doesn't know. He doesn't know it was his friend. No. And they're remembering when they used to just they just kick around and be friends. Wow. <gasps> oh, oh, is he gonna fight now he's gonna try to fight now? the whole mafia now? There's like literally 40 dudes. In oh my god. Oh no, and the friends the are boys. grieving the dead one. This is fucked up. <laughs> no, he's going oh straight god. for the boss. You can't do that, man. He's so much bigger than you. Oh, he's definitely gonna kill you. Yeah, wow, this kill is this fucked. Oh my god, uh, so much blood. Oh my god. No! I don't wanna watch this. I can't watch this. This is very upsetting. Oh my god. <gasps> Boys, oh no, you, can't help. you can't All help. You can't All three of you need to leave. <gasps> Shot through the heart. And you're to blame. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't go through him and hit his friends. It seems like it. It should. definitely went through him. Like, that should have. That little blonde kid, I think, should be dead. Would have gotten it too. Gotten the Rick. <gasps> oh my God! This whole band is about to get. Are they all to death? going to die? They're oh all going God. to die. This is insane. Why is this their most popular music? All of show? them are dying. <laughs> If this was C, and I don't even like to watch music, ah! the music. That neck snap was horrifying. Ah! This is ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh my god. No. Oh my god. The scared Stop. blonde one is crying is for so his horrific. mom. Oh my god. He's still dying. It's taking so long. Oh my god. And then it cuts to them being goofs on the beach. Remember all these? So don't get involved in gangs, kids. I'm very upset. Oh, <laughs> oh holy shit. Wow. My name. Why, though? I don't know why. Wow. If that was one of my favorite groups, I would be so upset. Like, I'm already upset. And I don't know any of these people. And if that was like, like if Shiny put out a music video where they all got brutally murdered, there's no fucking way. I right? would be into I, like that. I said, I already can't even watch Married to the Music, and that's like goofy murder, like cartoon yeah. murder. Yeah, and I no, don't even this like is, that. This was too much, and I really didn't like it. <laughs> no, and that's I didn't all I have to like say. That either. That's all I want to say about my name.
Well, I'm also upset because I feel like that really sullied my recommendation. I was thinking the same thing because I was also going to recommend you know thank yes. you. Yes. And now Which I'm is like, a better version of the whatever the fuck we just watched. Yeah, like what if if uh if an idol is going to do a bloody theatrical music video, then it needs to be a story in which they kick ass. Right. Therefore, I still recommend okay. you know's thank you music video because that, yes, it is gory. And also, if you don't like uh, to watch people smoke, like if cigarettes are a turn off for you, then don't watch you it because the like first it. like two minutes are just smoking porn, porn and it is hot. <sighs> The, like, sound of the drag is so loud. <sighs> so loud. The crackle he of the looks paper. He just, like, sucks on it. Up. And his rings are so big. And he looks amazing. He looks amazing. Amazing. It's a, it's a sort of revenge. Like, you know, is a part of the... He's, like, high up in the mob. And then the mob boss turns on him. And then he But he survives, back. baby. Yeah, he, he doesn't. Survives. He lives through the stabbing that he gets very early in the music video. <laughs> yes. And he comes back to wreck all those bitches. And it's awesome. The and literally dance on their corpses. Literally <laughs> dance over their dead bodies. And it's amazing. <laughs> that scene where he's going down the hallway just capping motherfuckers. Yes, and just and like, just oh, did I miss your kneecaps? Let me go back and make sure I got them. Bang, 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 bang. Amazing. <laughs> Shooting them without even looking behind him. <laughs> John, like, he's bad like John ass. It's bad so cool. Ass. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a great production value and it's long yeah yeah yeah, and i still haven't listened to the whole album but i know i liked all the songs that he did preview clippies for so i still need to like dig into the album but like you it's just an ep there's only five songs so i think there's only one song on the album that doesn't didn't get a full teaser yeah um Time Machine and Thank You Next, I think, are both very uh, TVXQ style songs mm-hmm. in the sort of like, they're a little bit Frankenstein y, they're a little bit weird, like they're, but they're yeah. still groovy. Um, and then You're Really Gonna Like Need You Right Now. It has a real like 80s synth, like driving music kind of vibe. Nice. So you're really gonna like that one. My favorite is still Loco. Um, yeah, but- I was going to say as a second recommendation, if everything we described for the thank you video is you're like, no, I absolutely don't yeah, want to watch Blood and that. Guns. Watch the little video for Loco colon house party. Per- parentheses. House parentheses party. house yeah. party, I mean. <laughs> um, because it's fun. It's so yeah. fun. Yes, it's it's fantastic. (laughs) No, it's just, you know, in a business, in a suit, dancing on an escalator and getting straight faced business people to dance with him. And it's really fun. And it's it's not the whole song um, because it's only like two minutes, I think. Um, But it's a really, really good time. Yeah, I love it. And I really hope that this just like means that SM is going to start making teaser films for everyone because I have, it's so fun. It Why is not? really fun. Go it all the really way. Fun. Yeah, give everybody one of them. Yeah, yeah, give them all. I also hope it means that we're going to start like churning out some SM comebacks because like, okay, you know came back and then like next month we know Shiny's coming back and then like, I don't know, like give us more, give us something, give us some fucking TVXQ. They're both out and about. Why aren't we getting stuff from the two of them? Agreed. For sure. I think and hope that Red Velvet will be back soon. Because, like, Wendy's yes, back. Yes, Wendy's and, back. And Irene issued another apology, which to me felt like clearing a path to mm-hmm. comeback time. Yes. So that would yes, be yes, nice. Yes. That would be great. Aespa should get one, too. They're still too new. New groups should be coming back all the time. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, if New you want to keep up with it, relevant. You gotta mm-hmm. be putting out the music all the time. Very true, very true. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, all right, that's enough for today. Um, thank you all again so, so much for this beautiful fan project and all of your letters and all of your packages and literally everything, even if you just listen. 
the fact that your one little tally in that download total <laughs> makes me happy. Um, so thank you all so much. And I'm really looking forward to this next year. And who knows what we can do or what will happen. And it's all just very exciting. So thank y'all. Yes, thank you very much. Even if, yeah, even, especially to all of the listeners who, you know, even if you've never reached out and said hello, we know that you're there and we appreciate yes. you. Um, and looking forward to, to the rest of what this year may bring. Yeah. Um, so if you would like to get in contact with us, uh, we are on social media at AMAK Pop Pod on Twitter and Instagram. Um, amakpoppod at gmail.com if you want to send an email like the emails we read today 181amakpop5 to leave a voicemail we might play it on the show um, we also have a YouTube ask me about kpop the podcast on YouTube and the first 30 minutes of this episode are available as a recorded FaceTime call so you can see the presence that we described um, we also have a Patreon where you can pay a little bit of money and get extra episodes patreon.com slash Jamie K pop pod and we have a Spotify account AMA mm. K-pop um, where you can find uh, playlists that match the episodes that are about music so there's one for all of our end of the year episodes and if we do group deep dives then there's a soundtrack to go with the episodes um, and we also have a P.O. box if you want to send us a postcard from your little corner of the world you can send that to P.O. box 26096 Los Angeles California 90026 yay um, great well Thank you. Thank you, my bestest best friend, for the last three years of hard work that you have put into this show. You always say, oh, you, Shannon, does everything, but it's not <laughs> true. You have absolutely contributed an invaluable amount to this show, <laughs> and I thank you for it. Well, thank you. I thank you for inviting me along. It's been, it's been a great three years. I know. I, I still can't believe it. I feel like it doesn't feel like three years, but it also does feel like three years. Time is <laughs> that way. Yes, it both does and does not. <laughs> it does and does not. Um, yeah, well, um, barring anything crazy, we'll be back in the same place for the next episode. So look yeah. forward to that. <laughs> See you next week. Goodbye. Jongyan, you're our inspiration. 